What's going on everybody? This is Al from NCAA 06 Revival and today I want to break down a passing concept that is just excellent. It has a ton of options against man, against zone. All five skill players have a chance to get the ball at any moment's notice. It's just super effective and it comes out of the ace four wide receiver trips formation. It is called slot clear out just quickly looking at the play art here with the play as is I always like to play it on the left hash you got a cover zero beater in square if he's not open you can give it to circle a little uh, in route or you can give it to triangle on the out route if the middle's clogged up again zone if the middle is opened up you can give it to circle if not, you could dump it to your halfback. If you got enough time, you could dump it to your inside wide receiver, R1, across the middle. It's just very effective all around. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's just click slot clear out. And normally in a four wide receiver set, you'll go up against a nickel or a dime. From Just to make things harder, we'll just go up against nickel. If you can run this play against nickel, you could definitely run it against dime. So let's just go random formation. Again, I like to do it on the left hash. I'll put on the 50-yard line. The defense is in man. Nobody moved except the safety come, coming down to uh, defend the inside receiver, R1. Again, first read is cover zero. If both safeties come up, we'll just give the fuller or square on the go route. If not, we'll dump it to Carlisle. Circle. If... They are spying some sort, or if they're clogging up the middle of the field or where the hash mark is at, then we could dump it off the brown. So let's run the play and see what happens. Nice little game there. Let's go to instant replay. Again, they're going man. We had one high safety, so I didn't have to worry about the go route. So my second read was the little in route by Carlisle Circle. He gets good separation, more off than not. If you have a really fast receiver, he can get really good separation. On top of, if you have a quarterback that's pretty accurate, you can get some serious gains with this. But as you can tell, the middle of the field was open. Nobody was spying or anything like that, so he was my go-to guy. Carlisle. Dumped off him, pick up a nice game. Okay, they're in man again. Both safeties are going the double team, both outside receivers. In this case, you can go to Smith. Since I'm using Notre Dame, I put in their tight end. He's pretty good in this game. So I put uh, I used a sub package of the tight end, just put him in the slot. You could dump it to him, or you could give it to Brown. If you've seen any of my videos, you know out routes are great against man. So in this case, I might just dump it to Brown. We'll just snap the ball here. Zip it over to Brown. Would have been nice if he would have caught it, but at least he had one-on-one -on -one coverage. Let's break it down here in instant replay. I decided to give it to Brown on the at route, but if you notice, I probably could have give the Smith. He had the inside release on his defender. If I'd have put enough accuracy and enough zip on, he probably could have caught it, went off and stride, and maybe could have gone in the end zone. But instead, I decided to go to Brown, which was a good call. He just dropped it. I think they're in man. So we'll just go with our same reads. First reads, cover zero, square. If both sides come up, we'll give the him. If not, we'll go to Carlisle. If the middle's bogged down, We'll just go with the Brown. No, they're playing zone. Okay. They went in zone. What I like to do against zone is the first read is if the middle of the field or the hash, the middle of the field for us, the center line right here, if there's an opening right here, Carlisle is my first read. Just give him enough time to get across the field. He'll be wide open and he can make a big play. If there isn't a hole around here, what I like to do is I could dump it off to my halfback on a swing. 
Fuller goes on a go route, which distracts the corner. Sometimes, and it's you got to have an accurate quarterback to do this, but sometimes on the go route against cover two, your square can get up and down the sideline, and you can zip it to them between in this little tight window. I may be able to show that here in this video. We'll see. But, again, they were in zone, so what happened? You see the, whole, the opening right here? That's always my first read, and if that happens, I'll just dump it off the Carlisle, your circle receiver. Wide open, get down the field for about 13 yards. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're in man, so we'll just go back to our man reads. We'll go to cover zero beater. If he's not open, give it to Carlisle across the middle. If the middle's blocked down or crowded, we'll give it to Brown. Cover zero. Threw it off my back foot. Felt the pressure there. But at least you can see right here. Cover zero. Just dump it off to your go route. The only downside, and this is a good example of this, but the only downside to under center spread formations is escaping the blitz. You have to have decent pocket awareness in order to get it off. That's a sacrifice you make for going under center. However, the strength or the advantage of doing under center spread formations, such as for ace four wide receiver trips, is the power run game. You have a lot more options in the run game. But that's for another video. Okay, they are in man. We'll just go back to our normal reads. Cover zero, beater the fuller. If not, we'll go to Carlisle. If not, we'll go to Brown. Cover zero. Let's just dump it off the fuller, see if he can get under it. Good catch. Let's go to instant replay real quick. Both safeties came up. Just dump it to your go route. They are in zone. If you notice, that left corner moved around a little bit. So our first read is if there's an opening down the middle at the hash, we'll dump the Carlisle. If not, we'll, we can go to Fulston. Or if they're going cover two, we can even dump at the fuller in that tight window. Or if you really have time to throw, we could dump at the Smith across the middle. We'll see if what opens up here. I think I have some time. I could dump it. Eh. I got hit. Didn't have enough time, or not as much time as I thought. But it went zone. There wasn't a really big hole across the middle. So what I should have done is give it the, my halfback. But if you notice, Fuller, there's a little window right there. If you could really zip it to him, he might be able to make the play. I was going to give the Smith. I had, I thought I had plenty of time, but what happened was he got bogged down right there. Unless he has a clean release, just dump it off to your halfback, or if it's covered to you, you can just give it the Fuller. Okay, they're in man. We'll just go with our normal progressions. Cover one, we'll just dump the Carlisle. Picked up seven yards. Man, go through our normal reads. Go to Carlisle. Man again. They're in spy, so we'll go to Brown. We'll go to instant replay for this one. You see both safeties come up to spy, so we couldn't give the Carlisle across the middle. I could have dumped it to Smith right here, but instead I decided to just go to Brown. Again, there's a ton of options with this play. Okay, they're definitely a man. Both safeties are double teaming the outside receivers, so we can go to Smith or Brown. If Smith can get a good release, I like to dump it to him just to kind of showcase that. As such, not bad. Picked up 15 yards. Man again. We'll just go through our reads. The middle's bogged down, so we'll just dump it to Brown. One of the best throw in the world, but he had single coverage. Okay, they're in man again. We'll just go through the progressions. Cover zero. Just go to go route. Give it the fuller, see if he can get under it. Good catch. Now they're in zone. If the middle's open up, we'll give it to Carlisle. If not, we can give it to Folston or Fuller. Let's just dump it to our halfback. Didn't get much of nothing there. Third man again. Cover zero. Just dump it to your go. 
Good catch. Man again. Cover zero. Let's give it the hand. This might be picked. Yep. Okay, I think they're in man. Yep, cover zero again. Dump the fuller. Good catch. They're in zone. Middle's not open up. This is a good example right here. They're in zone. The middle wasn't open. I could have dumped it to Smith. He, there was some room right there. If Square gets uh, caught up with a corner, it may be tough to give it to your halfback because the corner is still very close to your running back. What you can do if you think you have time, and I'm 12 yards off the line, which that shouldn't happen, maybe you could dump it off the Smith. I think they're in zone, yes. Had a little bit of a hole in the middle, so just dump it off the, the Carlisle. Picked up four yards there of the zone. They're in man. Just basic here. Let's just dump the Carlisle. Drop there. They're in man. Let's go back to Carlisle. Good throw. Get that good gain, gain there. They're in zone, not much there. They just caught me there, and I backed up way too much. Okay, I think they're in... I think that was zone. See, my square receiver, he got locked up with a corner. Should have just dumped off to the halfback. If, you, if you're feeling the blitz and you don't think you have enough time, just dump it to your halfback and just... Move on to the next play. Cover zero. I can just dump it off the Carlisle here. Cover zero. We can definitely go to our go route. I got hit as soon as I threw the ball. They're in man. Cover zero. Good pressure. Good catch there. They are in man. Outside receivers are being defended. I can give the Smith here if he can get good release. Oh! Just too, a little far ahead of him. They're in man. Got hit as soon as I threw it. They're in man. Cover zero. Should have caught that one. They're in zone. Stump it off to my halfback. Picked up a few yards. Man, cover zero, just dump it off. Zone, not much there. I could just dump it off to my halfback. Got negative yards there. Man, cover zero, feeling the pressure. Man, cover zero, just dump it off. You could get in the habit of just making a seven step drop. Interception there. What happened? They were playing man. Cover zero. I should have just dumped it off the square, my go route. But I wanted to see if I could dump it off the Smith. But this guy was in the way. So against man, it's probably not worth just dumping it off to him. Okay, both outside receivers are defended. Double teams. So I'll just dump it off the Brown. Man again, cover zero. Let's just go to our go route. Touchdown. Zone. Middle should be open. Picked up 10 yards. Man, cover zero. Getting pressured. Don't have a very fast quarterback there either. Middle of the field is covered. Just dump it off the brown. Man again, cover zero. Good throw. Man again. Feeling the pressure. Good throw. Man again. One high safety. Just give the Carlisle. Hopefully you get an idea of sort of all the progressions here. Man again. Cover zero. There's a huge hole down the middle, so I just wanted to run it. There's zone. Middle of the field's open. Zone again. Up it to your halfback. 
Got some room here. Okay. Hopefully that was enough reps to kind of give you an idea of what to do in that particular play. Again, you're sacrificing the potential of getting blitzed and getting sacked with the advantage of having a decent run game, a power run game. If you go through wide, uh, ace, four wide receiver trips, you have your my option toss with a halfback option. You got halfback sting, dive. I mean, you just have all the options in the world to do whatever you want. So, if you're going to run a spread offense, you have to decide what's more important to you. If you really want a solid run game, but maybe you don't want your runner, your quarterback to be the main runner, maybe you need to go under center with your spread sets. As such, and let your running back do all the take all the carries. It's up to you. You can definitely run a full-fledged offense from under center and four wide sets. You can take this formation. You can just run through it real quick. Curl read. It's got our curl flat combo on one side with a zig on the other. Excellent quick passing play. PA strike is great for a really deep threat, killer strike type play. Of course, there's our clear out, half back out. You've seen that before in shotgun trips. If you've seen any of my dynasty videos, you know I run this quite a bit. And what you can do, you, you could take ace four wide receiver trips and complement it with a spread. And there's several plays in it. All right, fellas. Hopefully the half, the slot clear out made some sense to you. You have a lot of options to work with. This video showed nothing but me going up against Nickel. If you ever go up against Dime, which you will in this game, you can really do some damage. You can really do some damage with the run game against Dime. They got five in the box, you got five linemen. As long as everybody does their blocking correctly, you can get some big gains in the run game. So take the slot clear out, have fun with it, practice it a thousand times. Use it. Don't use it. It's up to you. But at least this is another good example of what you could do with some of these passing concepts in this game when you have built-in answers into one single play. All right, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Come back again, and I'll talk to you later.